So we have discussed so far the how to model using LM multiple linear regression. We have done estimation and inference, uh, but we need to discuss more other issues. <clears throat> Qualitative variables, we have already <clears throat> uh, discussed this a bit where we use factors as regressors. And we have to uh, finish with the diagnostics, including heteroscedasticity and specification bias and data issues. So as I mentioned a while ago, uh, my file got corrupted. So we'll, we'll uh, go back to this once I have constructed the file and jump first to unit 14, which is related to units uh, on multiple linear regression. So we're going to study uh, today and maybe the next session, generalized linear models. So what's the difference between GLM and our LM functions? The difference is that in multiple linear regression, our dependent variable has to be continuous. Dapat continuous yung, yung dependent variable natin. So ano ba yung mga inaral na natin? Wage, no? Wage and other, uh, other uh, <coughs> regression models <coughs> where the dependent variable is a continuous variable. Now, what happens, guys, if your dependent variable is not continuous? So, kunyari, uh, binary siya. Factor siya na binary. Kunyari, a student is applying in a university. So, we would like to know if that student will be accepted or not accepted. But given certain parameters, given certain attributes, given some certain variables. So, for example, uh, will this person suffer from stroke or not? given certain parameters. So yun ang gusto natin malaman, whether yes or no. So in that kind of a regression model, uh, we have a dependent variable that's not continuous, but rather a binary. Yes or no, male or female, etc. cetera. Basta dalawa lang yung choice natin. Tapos hindi siya continuous. Factor. Factor. So in that case, guys, uh, we we cannot use the uh, the LM function. Mag error type kung yun ang model natin. We will have to use another type of function. So itong uh, lesson natin today and next meeting will be all about binomial and multinomial. Ano ba iba ng binomial uh, logistic regression sa multi multinomial logistic regression? The difference is ang binomial guys dalawa yung ano dalawa yung expected results natin for your de dependent variable. So multinomial, it's more than two. More than two. Uh, kunyari, we're, we're looking at a, uh, sa, sa medicine, kunyari, uh, yung, yung patient ba, normal ba, o, o suspect ba, o pathologic ba. So there are instances like that na tatlo yung, ano, yung choices. So pag ganun guys, hindi nang pwedeng binomial. Hindi pa pwedeng binomial logistic regression. It, we will have to take multinomial logistic regression. Okay? And then also another one, meron tayong ordinal logistic regression. Yung ordinal, ordinal naman, may order yung ano, may ordering yung, yung data natin. Unlike yung example na bigay, binigay ko sa inyo, normal, suspect, or pathologic. Yung order, guys, <clears throat> may, uh, uh, there are, there's a certain order to your dependent variable. So we'll discuss that also. So tatlong to, no? yung binomial, multinomial, at saka ordinal logistic regression. This will cover yung unit 14 natin. <clears throat> so kindly open the file that I shared with you sa modules natin. <clears throat> I shared with you uh, this one sa module, sa unit 4 natin. Itong logistic regression at saka yung binary USB. So let's kindly load yung binary USB dun sa R natin. Okay. So let me also load that. Okay. Uh, in my case, it's called admit. No, I, I think what I sent to you was binary, but it's the same. So I, I load ko lang siya. Okay. Import data set and dynamic ko. Heading, yes. So ito yung data, admit, GRE, GPA. And I'll call it admit. When you load it, guys, you can call it admit. No? Okay lang naman kung binary nakalagay dyan. Pwede naman natin palitan ito. And then import. <clears throat> okay. 
Okay, so I have to snow. <clears throat> okay, once you're done, guys, once you're done, you can copy this. Copy natin to. Control C dito sa dito sa load natin. Just don't bother about this. Uh, get pakitanggal nyo lang yun guys. No? Kasi uh, what I wanted to do here was to uh, just use our working directory so that when we load the data, di na natin kailangan ilagay yung, ano, yung, yung file location. Just use binary that CSV, CSV, okay na yun. So it's, uh, it's, it's located in the working directory. I think we have discussed that before. But let me just... <clears throat> Okay, so you change the name, guys, and data nyo. Palitan nyo na lang to yung binary gawin yung admit. So that your data will be named. The object will be named. Just remove all the objects you plus run to them. Okay. Okay, kindly chat please if uh, kindly chat please if you have access to data please so that I know if I'll be if I can if I may proceed. Okay, ang ginamit ko pala dito is that no. Okay, just to be consistent, guys, I'll rename this as dot .dat para hindi mabago yung ibang code sa baba. Okay, I'll use the, uh, file name, the object name dot. Okay, let me run this again. <clears throat> Kasi dot pala yung ginamit ko dito sa codes natin. Otherwise, babagawin natin yung dot into uh, admit. So that will take long. Uh, binary yung ginamit ko, Migs, nasa, nasa, natin, nasa canvas. Okay, the binary CSV there is the admit. Um, so when you load it, palitan nyo na lang pangalan, guys, the name of the uh, object, you name it uh, that. You know how to do that, plus. And then let's access it. Okay, kindly chat please if you're done, if you have, uh, if you have already your that data set in your object, in your global environment, in your data. Okay, thank you. Let's wait for the others, guys. Adin pa lang yung nag -ano. I'm expecting, hopefully, 100% sa you guys, sumusunod kayo sa ginagawa natin, you're following along. Okay, may mali ako dito. Dapat ang binigay sa inyo yung blank ko na ano. Anyway, <clears throat> I prepared a file guys na blank yung mga codes so that you'll be the one to write. But, uh, andito na yun, nabigay ko na yung, yung, yung file ko mismo. Okay. The rest, guys, eight pa lang yung nag-respond. Ah, na-chat done pala. Okay. Sige, guys, I'll give you a few more minutes, a few more seconds. And then, please, guys, uh, seven pa lang yung nag-respond na nag-load na nila. What about the other, uh, ano, what about the other 17 students? What, what are you doing now? Mahirap, guys, yung danto na, ano, lalo, lalo ni binomial, maraming, ano to, maraming nuances to. So I hope you download the file. If you're having problems downloading the file, please inform me. Ano ulit yung shortcut sa Windows para iran yung chunk? What do you mean by yung dito? Uh, 
Uh, Aziz, can you please clarify? What do you mean, Iran Yun Chang? Uh, are you referring to this one, Ram Daniel Po Chang? Ito. Uh, Ano yung shortcut nito? Control something eh. Medyo nakalimutan ko. Ano. Uh, okay. Where do you find that? Uh, do you recall guys? Ano yung shortcut? Ng... Malagay ko siya dito. Control, ano ba yan? Uh, I forgot the... Uh... Sandali. Run current chunk ito, no? Run current chunk or run selected chunk. Control current yun. Control shift enter lang. Ang may shortcut yung run all chunks above. Okay. So if it's just a, the current chunk, Control enter lang yun. So, highlight mo lang siya. And then control enter. Okay, Aziz, did, did that answer your question? Dito siya. Okay. So, technically, wala, ano lang eh, yung pag hinighlight mo lang, ano yun, then control enter lang. Or you go here. <clears throat> Okay, so done na ba guys? Na, ano na? na, na okay. Yes? I sent a question sa chat po. Uh, I mean, paki, paki send it to everybody para alam ng lahat. Nasa question. everyone na po. Nasa everyone? Is this Siska? Yes, sir. Repeat the process after loading the data set. Process after loading the data set. Uh, Kalo-load pa lang natin. No? Ziska, wala pa tayong ginagawa. Linode pa lang natin. Uh, do you have already the admit or the dot? Yung dot, uh, we renamed the object as dot, the AT. Dito. Sir, yeah. paano po lalabas yung kinopy-paste from the console? Kinopy-paste from the console. Dito? Here. Yes, Yung paano, ano? Paano? Yung location, sir. This one? Sorry, Siska, again, please. Okay na, sir. Uh, what do you mean, okay na? Makita ko na po pala. Ah, okay, sige, sige. Okay. Thank you, Siska. Thank you. Okay, any other questions, guys? So, you have the data, guys. Uh, we renamed it as that. Kasi, ang ginamit ko sa baba, panayin the AT, no? Pag rename natin ng admit, o lahat siyang papalitan natin ng admit. So that will take long. So, alright. So let's take a look at our data first. View natin si, si the AT object. Ito. Okay, so we have four variables here. Admit, GRE, GPA, and RAM. So itong GRE and GPA, these are metrics uh, that's used to measure intelligence. No? Alam natin yung GPA, grade point average. So you know that because you have that uh, sa mga averages. No? And then GRE, I think, is a measure of parang ano siya, parang measure, uh, more on IQ siya. No? It's a measure of intelligence, in GI, GRE. I research lang guys kung ano yung mga specifics ito. But what's important is that in this, uh, in this exercise, <laughs> we're going to use these three variables in order to predict whether the student, there are 400 students in our sample, will be admitted or not admitted. Okay, so uh, ano to, yung data set to na uh, of students applying for a certain university. Tapos, meron ditong rank. No? Yung rank na to, it judged or it, uh, it uh, categorized the high school from where the student came from, whether rank one, rank two, or rank 3, or may rank 4 pa, no? 4 ranks. Ito, ordinal to, ah. ordinal factor to guys. Kasi 1, 2, 3, 4, you know, this is the example that I was telling you a while ago. 
may mga factors na ordinal. And yung ordinal factors, they have a specific rank. No? So one is the highest, two is, is uh, let's say good, uh, three is uh, fair, and four is poor. Of course, I just invented the uh, the, nomen the uh, classification. Pero alam natin na one, pinakamaganda, four yung pinakapangin. Uh, okay, Nick, may, uh, sige, Nick, yeah, pero pwede, no? Yeah, pero pwede yung i-partition siya na, ano, na sa computer. Okay. Medyo ahead na yung question ni Nick, no? So, we, we'll go to that in a while. Okay, so, uh, here, okay, so, where am I? All right. So let's take a look at the structure of the object. So the structure nothing. It's a data frame for hundred observations. So it in admit is an integer, GRE is an integer, and a GPA is a numerical. And then the last one round is also integer. Okay. So, yung admit guys, integer, we, we will need to, we might need to, we will need to convert this. No? Kasi, uh, hindi naman siya integer, it, it has to be treated as a factor. Also, rank should be treated as a factor. Okay? Uh, and then, also my apologies guys, I should have given you the blank file. Kasi, uh, wala na kayong gagawin, iraran nyo lang. Dapat kayo magta-type ng code. No? Uh, I accidentally gave you the a file that has already the codes in it. Dapat kayo sana mag, kayo sana mag, kasi that, that doubles, that, that doubles the learning kasi. Kasi yung, iraran nyo lang yung code siya na hindi kayo nagsusulat ng ano. Okay, my mistake. Okay, anyway, so here we're going, going to convert yung uh, admit na, na variable natin, that admit as a factor. So we know this to convert a variable into a different type. So we just use this, in this case, as that factor. So let's run this too. Highlight nothing, control enter. Okay. And then if we look at the structure again of that. <clears throat> okay. So we now see that it's now yung admit natin at saka rank natin factor na siya. Okay. All right. Pause muna ako. Kindly chat, please, if you are done with this. Kung okay tayo so far. <clears throat> kung clear, tsaka kung nagawa nyo na, kindly chat, yes. If not, guys, uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to, to inform me. So once again, guys, uh, ang target natin for unit number 14 is binomial, multinomial, and ordinal logistic regression. So hopefully we're, we will be able to discuss that in the next two sessions and then we go back and summarize yung sa diagnostics natin sa multiple linear regression. I'm just seeing eight responses. How about the rest, guys? Uh, what about the 16 other students? Maka one-third lang tayo ng responses. Okay, kind of chat naman, please. I'll be happy with kahit 70% sa inyo nakapag- uh, are able to follow. Fifty percent pa lang tayo. How about the rest, guys? Baba, sumusunod or Madana, uh, Madana dito sa ano? Attendance lang. Fourteen students responded out of twenty-four. Let's uh, give your classmates a few more seconds and then we'll proceed. Meron pa ba guys? Meron pang pakichat naman guys kung uh, naran nyo na yung, yung from 35 to 38 natin yung uh, code chat. Kasi sampu pa yung hindi nagre-respond guys. What happened to the
what happened to the 10 students? Okay, so, yeah, thank you, thank you. Guys, pati ano na lang, pati respond na lang, kasi uh, I don't know guys, misan one third lang sa inyo nag, ano, nag, uh, nag I don't know what, what uh, gusto ko lang malaman kung andi dyan pa kayo. Okay, sige, kahit hindi tayo naka 100%. Alright, so with, with that said, let's look at the structure of our data. We have converted yung admit at saka yung rank natin. That, that's very important guys kasi pag binary logistic regression, kung numerical yung ano natin, yung data natin, then it will not work kasi uh, dapat factor siya. Tsaka kung numerical yan, di ano yan, di, it will be uh, nalabas na ano yan, uh, linear model lang yan. Okay? Alright, so first let's let's check yung ano natin, yung cross-tabulation natin ng data natin. We're going to use the x-tabs okay, function. Uh, here, we're, we're looking at yung uh, parang regression to, no? tilde, and then usually ang dinalagay natin dito yung response variable. In this case kasi, ang response variable natin si admit, and then plus your explanatory variable, in this case, rank. So we'd like to see the cross tabulation two way table kaya ng dalawang variables na nilalagay natin dito ng uh, data natin na dot okay so let's see All right so uh, we can see here that the distribution no so yung na admit yung na admit guys uh, yung hindi na admit coming from yung rank 1 28 no and then 33 of them were admitted. So we can see here that the percentage ng, ano, ng, uh, ng sa rank 1, guys, more than 50% were admitted. Sa rank 2, marami yung, ano, yung hindi na admit, 97. Uh, 54 lang na admit. Uh, practically one third, yung, one third lang na admit, two thirds yung hindi na admit. <clears throat> Mas mababa pa sa rank 3 at saka yung rank for yung ano nila, yung distribution ng na-admit at saka <clears throat> hindi na-admit. So <clears throat> this is a cross-tabulation of, uh, of uh, uh, data natin, cross-tabulation ng admit at saka ng hindi na-admit. <clears throat> okay, then uh, it's good also to check whether may mga missing values tayo. So that's part of your descriptive stuff. Is that NA? Let's see kung meron tayong sa dot. Uh, let's see kung meron siyang uh, missing values nun sa admit. Meron bang ang dito, missing values? Okay, ang, that, what will be given to us are the individual uh, kung false or true. Ibig sabi ng false, hindi siya missing. Uh, so, uh, it will be very difficult to see kung may mga missing dyan. So, we can use the yung which natin, no? which is that MA. And then you add so that data natin, that, and then admit. Okay. Nagamit na ba natin to guys on which is that NA? I'm sorry, I forgot. Did we do, did, did we use this before? In which natin, which function? Okay, not yet. Good. So this will tell us guys kung anong element dun yung, ano, yung NA. Okay, so ito it tells us na wala, no? Walang NA dun sa ano natin, sa, walang NA dun sa admit. Tingnan naman natin yung rank. Kung meron bang, ano, kung meron bang wala rin. So, all complete yung data natin. <clears throat> right? So, clear so far, guys? Kuchat na lang, please, kung... Clear so far yung test natin, data natin. Okay, if we want to get the, <clears throat> pwede natin kunin guys yung ano, o pwede natin kunin yung, yung let's see, column <clears throat> percent. Column percent, gusto natin, instead of the figures, control C, okay, gusto natin malaman kung uh, dun sa, ano, dun sa, Per, ano, per, <coughs> per uh, 
column uh, per uh, per school, no? Yung rank 1, 2, 3, 4. Ilan percent din yung na-admit, ilan yung hindi na-admit. So let's run this. Okay, bakit nagkamali? Column percentage x times Ah, we could not find the function. Ano, ano pa ang package to? Let me check the package from this, from where this function, column per column percent guys, instead of numbers to be bigay, uh, ang ibibigay sa atin yung percentage. We'd like to know ilang percentage yung na-admit o hindi na-admit sa rank 1. Column percent, it will get the percentage. Nasaan dito? Wala pa. Okay, note. Okay, dalawa. So, call percent. Hmm, I love it. Hmm. Okay, so this is supposed to work, huh? Admit a char rank. Data natin na. So, yung dalawang, two. Ano na naman? X times. Nag-work ba sa inyo, guys? Weird. I, I always do this. Yung column percentage. Did it run sa inyo guys? Kindly. No. Okay, no. Okay. Uh, I just want to be clear about this guys. Kasi, ano yun eh? Function yun. Check natin yung row percentage. Ganun din. Does it it run? Tapos tapos kina man dapat siya. Yung best one na gamit yun, but hindi siya nagagamit. Ayaw. Okay, sige, iwan muna natin yan guys kasi I don't want to spend uh, time, uh, too much time with that. So can anyone please paki-google nga, no? Yung row or column per PERC kung saan package siya. Okay. Somebody please, volunteer na lang. Tapos paki ano na lang sa class. Oh, not available. Pero ano yun eh, I know it comes from the stats package yata. And stats package is, is uh, automatically uh, uh, loaded when you open R. Uh, and somebody just please uh, check yung call per na, ano, na, na function. Dapat mag-work siya. Unless, okay, gawa natin ha. So, let's call this A1. Let me check. A1. So, yan. Tapos, A1. But that should be the same. So, my A1 na. Okay. My A1 tapos, wala pa rin. Error pa rin. Okay, could not find column person. Okay. Can somebody please? Ah, Tiger Stats. Yes. So, alright. Tama, tama. Tiger Stats nga siya. So, dapat guys, i-load muna natin. Paki-install nga yung packages. No? Yeah, I forgot. Tama. Uh, ano siya? Tiger Stats nga. So, na-load ko na ito dati. Library. Uh, so, paki-load na lang guys. No? Library. Tiger Yan. So, na-load ko na siya, no? Okay. 
Yeah, correct. Nalimutan ko anong, kung anong package to. So, just for information guys, Tiger Stats. No? Para alam natin kung saan siya nanggaling. Then, you can just uh, copy this. One. Okay, stops. All right. So once you have installed. Uh, tiger stops, guys. This should work already. Yeah, okay. All right, good, good. Okay, so uh, we can see here, guys, yung column percentage niya. Okay, so 45.9% sa column one ang, ang hindi na, ano, hindi na tanggap. Na 54% yung accepted. <clears throat> So, sa rank 2 na school, 64% not admitted. Rank 3, 76. And rank 4, 82% not admitted. So we can see here that the rank had an effect no? on whether the student will be up, you know, admitted to the university or not. Okay, you can, of course, you can also uh, add na lang natin dito. So copy natin to. And then replaces by row, row percentage. Okay. Uh, guys, you can also give this a name, kunyari A1. Okay. And then just replace uh, this one, column percentage A1, row percentage A1. Okay. Para shortcut siya. Para hindi nyo na ilalagay yung buong, buong code chunk dito. Buong, yeah, buong code. I run ko lang A1. Tapos, I'll replace this by uh, A1 na lang. I think this is more, uh, this is better. Para hindi masyado mahaba yung code natin. Yan. Okay? So, let's run this. We first created this uh, table, A1. And then, we got the column percentage and the row percentage. Run natin. Okay. So, we have this. Of course, we could have uh, run A1 also. Run natin lahat. Okay, so ito yung result natin. Ito yung cost tabulation. Ito yung percentage ng columns. And then ito yung percentage ng row. <coughs> so we see here that, as I mentioned a while ago, si rank 1, uh, mataas yung batting average nila. 54% no? were accepted uh, uh, from those that applied in the university. While si rank 4, 17% lang yung na-accept dun sa university na uh, In terms of uh, being admitted or not admitted, sa, sa not admitted of the total, 100%, 10% lang dun yung galing sa rank 1, while 35% yung galing sa rank 2. Okay? All right. Okay, so just, just an additional... Uh, uh, Info on how to get a percentage ng, ano, ng row columns or uh, row percentage or this or column percentages. Okay, so now question lang ako. Medyo na ako, na confused ako kung nag-partition na tayo ng data dito sa class na to. Could you kindly chat yes or no please if we have done this partitioning of the data? Because if so, guys, then hindi ko na masyado explain kung partitioning Otherwise, explain ko yung rationale behind the partition of the data. Can you chat please kung yes or no if we have done this, yung partitioning of the data. Not yet? Okay, so yeah, thank you. All right. Now, bear in mind, guys, na yung, yung, yung data natin only consists of 400 observations. Okay, for hand observation, and it's not good to use everything to model, to create a model, to generate a model. 
ang sa practice ang ginagawa uh, mag-set aside tayo ng observations okay from the uh, from our sample from our data we set aside some observations to be used to model yung admit natin and then the rest will be used to test our model okay kaya, kaya nga, what we do is to split our data data into a training data we usually call it training data and a validating or testing data okay so paano natin i-split siya <clears throat> how do we split it now one way guys uh, one way is to just to kunyari no so this is one up to 400 di ba then we can say na sige ang gawin natin na uh, 70% or 75% or 80% will go to the training data Okay, so 400 times, let's say 80% ang ginawa natin, no? that's 320. So ang gagawin natin, we, we're going to split this data from 1 up to 320. From 1 up to 320, ito, ito observation na ito. No? That will form part of your training data. Yun ang ilalagay natin sa training. Tapos in the rest, from 321 up to 400, that will be your testing data or validating data. Okay, so why is that not a good practice? That's not a good practice, guys, kasi hindi natin alam, unless kung alam natin na randomize yung arrangement ng data natin, we don't know how the data was arranged. Imagine, the guys, kunyari, ilang ba yung admit? Ilang ba yung admitted? Tinan natin sa, ano natin, sa, how many were admitted? Sorry. Okay, it's admitted, di ba? Right? If we, of course, guys, pwede din natin kuli yung total na to. So, manual na lang. So, this is uh, 87, 115, and then 127. If I'm not mistaken. 127 guys yung total ng, ano, ng admitted. Therefore, 200, uh, 200, 127, 273. Okay. 273 yung hindi na-admit. 273 of, this, of the applicants were not, were not admitted. Uh, what if, suppose guys, our data was arranged in such a way that lahat muna, naka-sort naka siya. Lahat muna ng zero tapos lahat ng ano lahat ng uh, ng one naman okay if we if we are careless guys tapos hindi na natin hindi natin na notice na ganun yung data natin and then we split it into training and testing what will happen is yung testing data natin lahat one siya okay lahat one siya or almost all one tapos yung training data natin <clears throat> karamihan zero Okay, karamihan zero. So that's not a good way to, to partition your data. Dapat nga guys, random yan. <clears throat> uh, strictly speaking, strictly speaking guys, kung mag-aano tayo, kung, kung mag-randomize tayo. Here, let me run this again. Okay, strictly speaking, uh, if we're going to do the... Uh, the ito kasi 82% no 82% yung yung not admitted 17% yung admitted in our data set dapat kung i-split natin yan okay strictly speaking dapat yung training natin ganun din yung proportion around 82% din yung admitted not admitted at saka 17% yung admitted and then also for your testing data dapat ganun din yung proportion okay so we're going to learn that uh, as we go along. Uh, so um, let me let me reiterate what I'm saying. Uh, when we have our data and then we're running, like for example, regression. Kaya yung ay guys, do unang lesson natin yung regress natin lahat ng ano natin, ginamit natin lahat ng observations natin. Uh, that uh, there's a better way to do it. dapat pinartition din natin yan. Uh, but we didn't do that kasi hindi naman pa yung, yun ang focus na ano natin. So as we improve on uh, skills on how to do statistical analysis, 
uh, it's important that we partition our data para meron po tayong data that has not yet been observed, that has not yet been seen by the model that we generate. And then we're going to use the model that we generate in order to test that data, that remaining data. So I hope you got it, guys. I hope uh, uh, clear your example, clear your explanation po. Okay, for the last time, guys, nagpa-partition tayo ng data para ma-prevent natin overfitting. Ano yung overfitting? Ginagamit natin lahat ng data natin para ma-generate yung model natin. Okay, that leaves us with no more data to test our model. So ang maganda niyan, split natin yung data natin. And usually, ang standard practice minsan, 70% yung 70 to 75, 80, sometimes 60, 40, 65, 35, depende dun sa, sa size ng sample natin. Okay? Pag malaki yung sample size natin, malaki, kunyari, tens of thousands of observations, it's it's okay na mag-80 ang tayo. 80, 80, 20, again, 75, 25, but if we have a small sample size, usually, binababaan natin yung, yung proportion. Kasi pag, kunyari, 100 lang yung sample size natin, tapos mag-80-20 tayo, and the 80 yung training natin, 20 na lang yung testing data natin. That might not be sufficient. Okay, So if it's just a small uh, small uh, sample size, then we can we can do a 60-40, 65-35. Pero pag malaki-laki siya, pwedeng... Uh, we can increase it. No? Kasi, kunyari, 80-20 siya, yung 20% ng malaking data set, eh, okay lang yun. Okay lang siya. Okay, ito, ang data set natin, ang sample natin ngayon is 400 observations. So, medyo hindi naman siya malaki. No? But for our purposes now, we will just use 80-20. Uh, <clears throat> uh, may tanong sinig kanina kung, kung pwede bang baguhin yung, yung proportion ng sum ng uh, training at saka testing yes as i explained a while ago depende dun sa <coughs> sample size natin no okay for this guys we're going to use an 80 20 80 percent yung training and 20 percent yung testing uh, of course pwede natin later on i-test kung paano kung 75 25 to magbabago ba yung ano magbabago ba yung yung ano natin yung yung result we can do that no? we can test but for now let's just use 80 20 Ang 80% ng 400, it's around 320. No? And 20% <laughs> ng 400, that's, uh, that will be uh, 160. So not bad. No? Okay lang yung 160 na for testing. Okay. So how do we split? Sabi natin, we don't just split uh, by number. No? Gagawin natin 1 up to 320. That will be for training. The rest will be for testing. We don't do that. What we do is to make use of this function called sample. Okay, anong gagawin ng sample function? Magra-random siya. Gagawa siya ng random numbers no? and from <coughs> and split nat niya yung data natin into two. And then, uh, anong numbers ang i-split niya? Okay? Yung end row, guys, that's, uh, di ba, pag end row, that's 400. No? End row ng dot natin, it will give us 400. So ang gagawin niya guys, i-split niya yung 400 into 2. No? Okay, tapos, we use replace is equal to true and then probability is equal to 0 0.8 to 0.2. So we're going to generate an object called ind. Okay? Uh, short for index. No? Just use ind. Tapos, uh, and then dapat guys, pag pare, para pare-pareho tayo, recall this, set that scene then we just use 1, 2, 3, 4. Of course, you can use another number. Pero para pare pareho tayo, let's use this one number na to 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so let's run this first. Run natin set that seed at saka yung in. Run natin. Okay, so magkaroon tayo ng object na in dito. Let's take a look at this. In, no? In. So it's an integer from 1 up to 400 consisting of two numbers, 1 and 2. Bakit 2 lang? Kasi guys, sabi natin, uh, dalawa lang. Eh. Had we changed this into 3, so dapat yung ano natin, probability natin, kunyari 0 0.7, 0 0.2, at saka uh, 0.1. Yan. Kung tatlong, kung tatlong uh, objects, guys, 
kung tatlong distributions, kung tatlong partition, then dapat ganito yung gagawin natin. So yung 1 to 1, 1 to 400, yung gagawin na 70% will be 1, uh, 20% will be number 2, and then 10% will be number 3. So subukan natin kung i-run, kung end na to. Control enter. Okay. So let's take a look at yung end natin dito. View natin si end. View. End. Okay. So you will see here guys that you know, my 1, my 2, my 3. No? Okay. So 400 entries. So that bawat row, lilagyan ng number na 1, 2, or 3. Okay. So but let's go back to our example. I just... Uh, Illustrated to you, if you want a partition of 3, then 3 will not again. Dyan. So 2 lang tayo, and then we're using 0. 0.8 and 0. 0.2. So I'm going to uh, remove this. Okay. All right. So 1, 2, uh, run rate natin to. Let the run in again. Okay, and then let's view. You in <clears throat> all right. So take a look at this, guys. There are also 400 entries, no? <clears throat> 400 entries, to. Uh, ano yung mga entries? Oh, wait, nandale. Uh, hindi pa yata rin yung ano, guys. Uh, I didn't run yung set that seed. Sama ko dapat. If I didn't run set that seed, guys, tapos in lang, magsa sample siya na magkakaiba tayo kasi uh, we didn't use a set that seed. So make sure to. Make sure to include set that seed dun sa in function. Okay. And then view for the yung set that seed. Okay. A view in in. <clears throat> okay. We should have the same. All right. If you notice, guys, yung ano natin, yung observation natin, one, 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 two. One, 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 two. So, si number 5, si number 14, si number 16, okay, in-assign lang siya ng number na 1. So, these were randomly generated itong mga numbers na to. So, lahat ng number 1 pupunta sa, ano natin, pupunta sa training data. Lahat ng number 2 pupunta sa testing data. Okay, so that's how we split our data or, or partition our data. So, let's now create this object called train. So, it it uh, will be coming from that, no? So, gagamitin natin si that object and then ang gagamitin natin from the that object, yung number of rows niya, yung row number will be yung in na is equal to 1. Okay? So, lahat ng 1 dun sa in, papasok siya sa train and then lahat ng in is equal to 2, papasok siya sa test. Okay. So, let's run this. Control enter. So now you have a trained data set and a test data set. Now, ilan yung observations ni train? 325. So it's more or less uh, 320 kasi 80%, 20%. So we notice that hindi exactly this, exactly yung 80% na yan. 325 and 75. Okay, there's a way to uh, to make it exact, but we, we let, let's not study, let's not do that now. Importante sa atin, nakapag-generate tayo ng trained data set a chart test data set. So test data set 75. Let's check, guys. Let's check. Click not and see train. Okay. <clears throat> what do you notice? See train data set. Observation 1, 2, 3, 4. And notice, guys, wala si 5. Wala si 5. Wala si 14. Wala si 16. Bakit sila wala doon? Kasi guys, diba, in-split natin data set natin. Lahat may, na may number one dun sa, in, sa index will go to the training data set. Tapos sa testing data set, if I click this, <clears throat> okay, si train pa rin pala yun. Si test will be, okay, tinin si test guys. 5, 14, 16. Ito yung mga number two dun sa index natin. Okay, so we were able to generate two objects, a training and a testing where we randomly split our data, yung that data natin, and we split natin. So meron na tayong train data set at saka test data set. So what will happen, guys, is we're going to regress 
we're going to do binomial logistic regression on the trained data set. And then once we generate our model, it's a test natin. No? Gagamitin natin yung model na yun dun sa test data set natin. And we'll see if okay yung model natin in uh, uh, when we use another data set, an unseen or an observed data set, which is the test data set. Okay, pause mo na ako. Pakichat nga guys, kung clear so far. <laughs> ito, critical tong ano na to, tong portion na to. No? Critical yung pag-partition data. Uh, Pakichat please kung yes, kung clear siya. Kung nagawa nyo, clear siya. Okay, I hope uh, I hope a majority were able to follow along. Okay, not even one half, guys. How about the rest? Waiting for the rest to key in their few more seconds, guys. <clears throat> Let's give your classmates a chance to write the code and then run it. Uh, you have to write this code, guys. You have to generate, train, and test. Otherwise, guys, uh, useless. Hindi nyo magagawa yung nasa ilalim. No? Kasi i-regress -re natin based on our train data set. So kung hindi nyo ginawa to, hindi nyo na-generate yung train data set, uh, the rest of the codes will be useless. Okay, and I'm only having 11 responses. What happened to the, uh, what happened to the 13 other students? Okay, hindi nga tayo nag-1 half. No? Uh, pause muna ako guys. Let me just check. Alright, so nag-create tayo ng dalawang object, train at saka test. Uh, sabi natin, you notice that yung sample natin, it, it was not exactly 80%. Kasi 80% of 400 gives us 320. So plus or minus certain <coughs> certain observations. No? Okay, what, but what's important here is that we can now uh, create your train data set. No? Uh, we now we can now create a an object which we can use for for uh, uh, for uh, uh, doing our model. <clears throat> okay, now just to tinala natin guys ha? Okay, so let me just introduce this. Uh, this is what I was uh, telling about a while ago. Let's create this object. Let's call it A two now. A two, kasi kaniyang nagcreate tayong X one, di ba? So X tabs natin to x tabs and then tilde and then we have admit and then plus rank this time we're going to use data is equal to yung train data set natin i just like to compare gusto lang natin ma-compare guys kung pareho lang ba yung ano yung yung proportion kasi pwedeng ano eh pwedeng yung row percentage ni a1 at saka yung column percentage ni a2 oh sorry column percentage ni uh, A2 possible na hindi na maintain yung ano ano yung yung percentage nila <clears throat> okay so we're creating this object A2 parang yung kanina guys okay let's see row percentage column percentage A2 all right kulang tong A2 natin dito All right, if we look at this, guys. <clears throat> so, dito sa ano natin, sa a row percentage, no? Okay, 47 and 52. Uh, ang admitted, 83%, tapos 16%. No? Admitted is 83% and 16%. A while ago, guys, kanina... Ilan yung ano natin? Sa A1 natin, let's see. 82 and 17. 
Okay? Uh, 83 and 16. Not bad. Hindi naman masyado nagkalayo. No? <clears throat> Ibig sabihin yung ratio na na-admit dito sa uh, dark data set natin is 82. Tapos yung hindi na-admit 17. Sa, sa train data set natin, it's uh, ang na-admit 83. <clears throat> ang hindi na-admit 83, ang admitted 16. <clears throat> okay. That, that's important to check. No? Kasi uh, it's possible guys na yung renandomize natin to baka baka na, na, na iba na yung ano yung partition na iba na yung percentage so for as long as it's close okay lang yun so it's important always for us to check <clears throat> kung yung na generate natin na train uh, will yung ratio niya will be quite similar to the original if we replace this guys by test no? palitan natin to ng test ang gagamitin na, na gagamitin natin test data set see so ilan yung percentage na na admit na hindi na admit 78%. So medyo may ano ano, medyo may counting ano na, counting uh, na iba na doon sa testing data set natin. But uh, there are ways in order to still maintain uh, as much as possible yung percentage. So kanina 83 ngayon admit natin yung not admitted natin 78 na lang. Okay, so medyo na bago yung ano yung uh, yung proportion niya and that might affect the results of the model. So just be aware of that, guys. No, uh, it's important to test to check our data. Lalo na pag nag-cross tabulation tayo, tapos uh, cross tabulation and then pinapartition natin. Okay, so let let me just change change it back to train. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Any questions, guys? Uh, on that mini check, clear ba yon? Okay, paki chat ulit, please. Kung clear so far. Yung ginawa natin, tinest naman natin, chinek natin yung proportion ng admitted, not admitted sa train data set. Okay, thank you. Alright, yan. Salamat. Okay, good. Okay, talagang, um, hindi talaga tayo mag uh, 100% kasi may mga absent tayo. Okay, thank you so much guys. Yung 14 na nag-respond kanina, uh, 15, very good. Alright. So let's now, guys, let's now do our first model. So let's call this my mod. <clears throat> and then we are regressing. We're using LM. LM. Pareho to na multiple regression natin. LM admit regressed on GRE, <clears throat> GPA plus rank. And we're using the train data set. And then gamitin natin, summarize natin yung my mod natin. So let's run this. Run natin. Okay, and then what do you notice, guys? <clears throat> mag -e error tayo. No? Why are we generating an error output? Kasi, sabi dito, using type is equal to meric with a factor response will be ignored and not meaningful. So pag LM, guys, dapat yung, ano natin, yung dependent variable should be numeric. And dito yung admit natin factor. So hindi pa pwede. We cannot use the LM function. Okay, we have to use another function. And the function that we're going to use is yung GLM. Okay, if we uh, get some bagali yung GLM then. Okay, double, double uh, question GLM. Let's see where this came from. Oops. Nangyari sa, sa help natin. Let GLM. Okay. No results found. Ayaw. Isa lang. GLM. Okay, there. So it's coming from the stats package. No? It's coming from the stats package, and we didn't we didn't need to. Uh, there was no need to install this or require this. Okay, because it's stats. Uh, it's it comes loaded with R and R Studio. So kaya nga hindi na tayo nag, nag library ng stats. Okay, so see si GLM yan guys. Ito. No? So you can take a look at this. Always, it's always helpful to look at the documentation. GLM is used to fit generalized. It is a bit of a generalized linear model specified by giving a sim symbolic description of the linear predictor and a description of the error distribution. <clears throat> okay, so dito guys, important sa atin dito, yung family. No? Yung family guys, iba-iba yan. Yung family, uh, let me click this, family. 
Sabi niya, no? <clears throat> ang family pwedeng binomial, Gaussian, gamma, inverse. <clears throat> okay. So dito na papasok guys yung gagamitin natin si binomial. Okay? Or logit. Logit. Kasi binary, logistic regression tayo. <clears throat> okay. So <clears throat> uh, let's now <clears throat> Okay, I think I'm going to give you the mod X, no? Mod X, so GLM, admit, and then we regress natin si, regress natin si admit on GRE, GPA, and RAM. And you know, guys, na, ito pwede rin dot yan, no? Dot. Okay, kasi ibig sabihin ng dot, lahat ng regressors natin. Okay, but I'll just go back to the original one. Rank uh, data is equal to train. Remember, guys, ang unang gagamitin natin si train data set. And then take a look at this one. We have to add, add this family is equal to binomial. <clears throat> okay? And then summarize natin. Okay. So we have this <clears throat> result. Okay, ito yung formula natin. Admit regress on all our predictors, family binomial. And then we have here residuals, pero <clears throat> notice na my special name siya, deviance. So pag binomial, guys, ang tawag natin dyan sa residuals, deviance <laughs> residuals. And then here we have the coefficients. No? Okay. <clears throat> Intercept. So, run ko ulit kasi hindi nasama yung, yung, yung significance sa hindi. Okay, let me run this again. <clears throat> okay. There. <laughs> okay. So we have here intercept is significant. Uh, uh, although guys, kahit na hindi significant yung intercept, isasama pa rin natin sa model yun. Uh, GRE is not significant. <clears throat> so it's not a predictor whether the student will be admitted or not. GPA is significant. And then si RAM, remember guys, this is a factor. Okay, question, bakit, bakit tatlong ranks lang ang dito? Rank 2, 3, 4. Can somebody please answer? <clears throat> Bakit guys rank 2, 3, 2, 3, 4 lang yung rank? Anyone? Paki-unmute or paki-chat please? We learned that already before. Anyone? Uh, anyone would like to venture an answer? It's uh, yes. Let's see. Yeah. Alistair, could you unmute yourself? And but this is Ziska. Okay. So parehong tama yung answer nila, no? Alistair and Ziska. Uh, Pakishare nyo, uh, ladies, yung, ano? yung answer nyo sa ano? Uh, gentlemen. Uh, Alistair and uh, Ziska, can you share your answer to everyone, please? Okay, thank you. Alistair, can you unmute yourself? Um, yes, sir. Yeah, ano, yung, ano yung base natin? Ano yung benchmark natin? Um, benchmark po natin is yung rank. Rank? Okay, what, what, which rank? Kasi ang rank yung variable natin. Ano yung um, ginawa Yes, correct. So, same thing with Ziska, no? Ziska, tama? Yes, Okay, tama. So, thank you, Alistair and Ziska. You're correct. Kasi remember, guys, sabi natin dati, kapag factor yung variable natin, ang lalabas sa regression yan, <laughs> uh, only uh, n minus 1. N minus 1 uh, coefficients. Kasi si rank has four levels. Rank 1, rank 2, rank 3, rank 4. And then, ang una mag-appear doon, <clears throat> alphabetically or numerically, si 1. So, gina ginawang, ano, ginawang, uh, uh, si rank 1 ang benchmark, si, si rank 1 ang reference. So, <clears throat> ang lumabas lang na coefficients <clears throat> is rank 2, 3, 4. And of course, pag in-interpret natin to, it's, it has to do with it, it's with reference to or compared with rank 1. Okay. Now, ang kakaiba dito guys sa binary logistic regression, hindi siya yung same na ano, same na same na uh, interpretation ng ano, ng ng uh, yung multiple linear regression. Kasi di ba, pag multiple linear regression natin, ang sinasabi natin, nangyari ito, uh, 
If I have this, kinyari si GPA, significant siya. Significant at 0.01. Ito. Two stars, 0.01. So, si GPA, we interpret this as, for every one unit of GPA, there's 1.16 or 1.17 okay, uh, units in, increase in units of admit. Okay? Yun ang, yun ang ano natin, whatever the uh, units of admit is. Diba, diba ganun yung ano natin? Ganun yung interpretation natin pag, pag ordinary na multiple linear regression. Now, if it's, bina if it's binary logistic regression, hindi ganun. Okay? Hindi ganun kasi ang why natin dyan, yung dependent variable natin na admit, it's not in terms of units of admit, but rather we call it log ads. Yan, ito. So guys, this is what makes also binomial logistic regression quite uh, more difficult than the ordinary OLS, not an ordinary multiple linear regression. Kasi yung multiple regression natin, guys, pag in-interpret natin yan, dire-diretso. No? For every one unit increase in your <clears throat> independent variable, there's a corresponding X uh, uh, units, increase or decrease. Uh, B units, increase or decrease in your dependent variable, uh, Keteris paribus, or all things being the same. Pag binary logistic, guys, you don't interpret it as the number of units of your dependent variable. But rather, it's, uh, it's uh, interpreted as, <clears throat> okay, for every one unit increase in GPA, there's a corresponding 1.166 log ads. Increase in uh, increase of 1.166 log ads ratio. Okay? Of being admitted. Okay, so, ganun yung interpretation na log ads. Ano tong log ads na to? So, this is what makes uh, binomial logistic regression a bit challenging. E lalo na guys po multinomial. Kasi pag multinomial, more than two na. Three, four, five. No? So medyo kakaiba na din yung, ano niya, yung output niya. That's what we're going to learn in the next two sessions. Para aware tayo. Kunyari, pag may, uh, pag may nagmamodel kayo ng binomial o nagmamodel kayo ng multinomial, you know how to go about it and you know how to, you know when to use it. Okay. And you know how to go about it and you know how to interpret it. Okay. So... Uh, itong rank to ganun din, no? <clears throat> Although hindi siya significant, but if we're going to read, read this, for uh, ito, so this will be in reference to rank 1. So ibig sabihin ito, rank 2 students <clears throat> has uh, has a has less 0.57 log odds. Okay? Log odds ratio of being admitted compared to rank 1. So whatever that log odds ratio is, explain natin. No? Pero ang sinasabi dito, log odds lahat to. So si rank 3, 1.12 log odds ratio less. Okay? Kasi negative siya. Of being admitted compared to rank 1. Ganun din si rank 4. Negative 1.53 log odds. So hindi units. No? Log odds ratio less compared to uh, being of uh, being admitted compared to rank one. Okay, so may idea tayo na ang log odds ni rank two mas mababa kaysa kay rank rank one. Ang uh, ang log odds ni rank three mas mababa at saka si rank four din mas mababa kaysa kay rank one. Okay, so let's go here, guys. Okay, um, sige. All right. So what will happen here, guys, is since Bago natin interpret to, since hindi significant si GRE, let's remove this from our model. Okay? Let's remove this in our model. And besides, it has the lowest Z value, di ba? It has the lowest Z value. Si intercept, whether it's significant or not, pinapasok natin siya. Now, si factor, si lang, whether may hindi significant dyan or not, ipapasok pa rin siya. No? Hindi natin pwedeng tanggalin si rank even if may isang insignificant sa kanya. Kasi there are other levels that are significant. So we have we know that. We discussed that already before. So here, we're, let's create a model, M1. Okay? And then we're using, again, GLM. Admit everything and then minus 1. Ano yung minus 1 natin, guys? Ah, sorry, ah. 
Ang minus 1 dito guys, tatanggalin natin si intercept. Okay? And then what will happen here is that instead of the intercept, uh, ang coefficient natin magiging ramp 1 hanggang ramp 4. So let's run this, M1. Okay, let's run this. Okay. So we take note guys, na wala si intercept and then pumasok ngayon si ramp 1, ramp 2, ramp 3, ramp 4. Okay? So we're not anymore benchmarking it against ramp 1 kasi we removed the intercept and then pinasok ngayon si ramp 1. Okay, so again, how do we interpret this? Okay, log adds lahat to. Okay, log adds lahat. Okay, kaso, hindi na ano, hindi na, hindi na in relation to rank 1 kasi pinasok na lahat. No? So si rank 1, negative 5, uh, negative, uh, a decrease in log adds no? of being admitted, of being admitted uh, uh, to the university. Okay, so we'll uh, take a look at that. Okay, it's all, it's all, it's, Almost time, one minute na sa ko, guys. Okay, so next meeting, guys, titina natin to. No? You know, hindi pa tayo nakakaabot man lang ng ano. Ilang rows mo to? Okay, 300 plus rows. <clears throat> Apalagi ko hindi natin makukuha ng isang ano. Eh. But remember, mayroon pa tayong isang meeting, guys, na na-miss out natin. So mag-extra mag meeting tayo in order to compensate for the missed, missed meeting last time. Uh, let's decide that later on. Alam. Okay. So, in fact, na sana kung pwede sana kayo ng Saturday uh, para madiscuss natin iba na to. Uh, but I don't know, maybe some of you are going back to the province to vote. It might not be a good time. Kasi uh, I know some of you are voting sa provinces, so you'll go back there. Okay. So, sige, ano na lang natin next, next week, no? But please, guys, uh, kindly review. And then, medyo mag-research lang kayo, guys, kung ano ibig sabihin ng log ads. No? <clears throat> Kasi, ang hirap i-interpret ng log ads. So, what we're going to do is we're going to convert the log ads into probabilities. That's what we're going to do. Okay, this is how you define log ads. Log of success, P, or success dito being admitted, divided by failure, 1 minus p, not being admitted. So this is how the equation will look like and this is how what we're going to study next meeting. Kung paano natin i-interpret yung result ng binomial logistic regression. Okay, with that guys, I stop recording already.